Hi guys. In the previous video, we have explained boiler accessories like economizer and different types of superheaters. Now, we are going to discuss other accessories like reheaters and air preheaters, their location, function and importance. First comes the reheater, which is again a tubular heat exchanger. Its function is to reheat steam coming out of the HP turbine. Reheater increases temperature of the steam and reheated steam is sent to the intermediate and then lower pressure turbine for further expansion and work. Here we can see two types of reheaters, namely primary reheater and final reheater. These can also be termed as convective and radiant type reheaters respectively. However, their number and location can be different depending upon type and size of boiler. To understand this process, let's recall superheated steam coming out of final superheater. This is also called main steam having temperature of 540 degrees centigrade and pressure of 188 kilogram per centimeter square. It enters HP turbine and expands there. Expansion of steam reduces its temperature and pressure to about 350 degrees and 40 kilogram per centimeter square respectively. These figures are indicative and will vary depending upon type and size of thermal plant setup. In last stages of HP turbine, moisture content of steam increases due to temperature and pressure drops. Such wet steam can cause erosion and damage to turbine blades. To avoid this occurrence, steam from HP turbine is sent to primary reheater. This steam is called cold reheat. After primary reheater steam is sent to final reheater for further reheating, reheater increases temperature of steam at same pressure, that is, the temperature of 540 degrees centigrade and pressure of 40 kg per centimeter square. This reheated steam is called hot reheat. From here, hot reheat is sent to IP slash LP turbine for further expansion and work. We can summarize advantages of reheater as it reduces specific fuel consumption, it reduces turbine blade erosion, it increases thermal and overall efficiency, it reduces specific volume of steam, which further decreases the size of condenser, the size of LP turbine blades, and also the cooling water requirement. Next accessory is air preheater. It is also a very important boiler accessory which is located after economizer and at the exit of flue gas duct. It recovers useful heat from exhaust flue gas which otherwise might get lost through the stack. Air preheaters are broadly classified into two types, say tubular type and regenerative type air preheater. Regenerative type is most efficient and compact type of heat exchanger. Here we are going to discuss regenerative type trisector air preheater. Which is widely used in thermal power plants. The term trisector stands for single flue gas stream and two out streams of air called primary and secondary air. At inlet duct, forced draft fan forces ambient air which on heating diverts as primary and secondary air. 
It has rotating part which is closely packed with heat transfer matrix plates. The rotor rotates at very slow speeds, say 0.75 RPM. Due to rotation, heat transfer plates are exposed to hot flue gas in half of the rotation and to ambient air during other half rotation. That's how heat from flue gas is absorbed by matrix plates in first half and is transferred to air in second half of rotation. When hot flue gas enters air preheater inlet duct at about 340 degrees centigrade, force draft fans force ambient air of say 30 degrees from other side of air preheater. During rotation, heat transfer takes place from flue gas to ambient air and temperature of air and flue gas comes to 210 degrees and 145 degrees centigrade respectively. However, there is an optimum value, say 140 degree of heat drop in flue gas to prevent cold and erosion. Because flue gas contains uh, SOX and NOX gases and they may come and form acid with moisture and prevent cold at the end. So to prevent corrosion of metal parts, optimum temperature at exhaust is maintained. Hot primary air is sent to pulverizer by primary air fan. It dries cold and transport powdered coal to furnace. It also reduces lump formation of powdered coal. Secondary air goes to combustion chamber through wind box. It promotes fast and complete combustion of fuel. The advantages of air preheater are recovery of maximum waste heat from flue gases, increase in the steam generation rate, proper combustion with less soot, smoke and ash, and acceleration of the overall thermal efficiency of boiler. Lastly, it also reduces fuel consumption and cost. Our next video will be on Rankine cycle to show how superheater and reheat 8 works in and is done in turbines. Stay tuned.